150 yard driveway, tools that can deal with a small amount of snow. Sometimes we get more than a small amount of snow, so I put a front hitch on my mini truck. And now, maybe I should put a plow on here. Hmm. Hmm. A lot of people have these black line plows. Okay, let's see. How about this one? I need six feet. And holy cow! I've got a bunch of random steel hanging out. Maybe I can make something. Hmm, let's see. Here's a nice little quarter inch plate. Bet that could pivot back and forth quarter inch angle iron I've got some two inch square tube fits in there nicely maybe I can mock something up to work with this 2500 pound Harbor Freight winch let's see I'm gonna need a bottom plate. So I'll put some holes in there. This is the main arm that's gonna hold on to the plow. I'm cutting a slot so that it can pivot up and down. No plasma cutter, so I have to use a cutoff wheel, the smallest one that I have, to try and get this. And a jigsaw. Here I'm cutting the piece that's going to go on top of the arm to hold on to the winch. found this old wire spool on the side of the road. Let's see if I can use that. Measuring and cutting the right height for my four pieces that are going to hold on to the, the plow blade itself. Speaking of the plow itself, here's some 1.5 millimeter stainless steel that I had hanging out. And I have to attach that bottom plate onto these square tubes, so I'm cutting out a slot. This is going to give a pretty solid amount of weld area. Cutting that bottom plate to its final length, all of those holes are where I can attach the poly blade and replace it. Okay, those slots for the bottom blade are looking pretty nice. Cutting up this square tube for the top of the plow. It's nice that I have this porta band. I have a stand for it and I can just pop that right off real easily for weird cutting situations like this on long stock. Here I measure for cutting the slots for that top three-quarter inch square tube. And here's the dry fit on what that looks like. 
Cutting stainless is not fun, even when it's thin. Cutting the two inch square tube that goes into the receiver hitch itself and the riser arm that's going to hold on to the winch. creating the pivot point for the two inch stock to go onto the main arm for the plow. These step bits are pretty nice for that. This is always the problem working with old rusty crap you have laying around. You gotta clean it up. All right, drilling out a hole here for a half inch pin for the main arm. Let's see how that fits. I need to make these little wings for the mount plate for the winch. All of this is out of quarter inch. Here I make an adapter out of a cutoff from a 2 inch receiver hitch and then drill out the 3 8 inch holes for the fair lead. Sorting out where I put in a pin for a 1 inch and here's my pivot. This is the main plate that's going to hold onto the plow which hangs out at the end which I need to sort of mock up here. This level happens to also be 6 feet. Yes, I weld on the ground, so what? Tack time is always nerve-wracking. I'm putting some healthy tacks on this and making sure that it, it works out like I plan in my mind. The idea with the top of this riser is I can mount the plate for the winch onto this and then I could actually swap it out for other implements. This two inch tube is the weakest link in the whole assembly. So, making it a little bit stronger. If it breaks, I make a new one. This is the bit with a one inch pin that holds on to the actual plow. I'm gonna have springs mounted to this that let it tip forward. Setting all this in place, you can start to see how it's going to work. Half inch pin there, another half inch pin there, 
So now it's time to mount on that three quarter inch top square tube. Get that bottom plate on there. Notice I don't have the two center pieces quite yet. Working out the uh, spacing still. Let's see how that looks leaning up against the truck. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One inch rod. Need to make this hole a little bit bigger. And fits. Now I've got room for some pins. And here's my very scientific way of cutting off excess material. Here's how the winch will attach. Now cut off that excess material. Now I fit in my half inch pin, see how it pivots, pretty good. Everything looking good. Here I'm tapping a 3816 because that happens to be the pin that I have in some old knob I got out of a parts bin. Which I then cut down to length. I can use this for manual tilting of the blade. Sort of guessing here at how I'm going to mount the plow, where the hole is for the one inch. I first tried drilling this with an old hole saw with only two carbide teeth left. I didn't include that footage. Kind of getting those cut out to their rough size. And of course, the one inch bar doesn't seem to fit unless I get that nice and filed out. This video is getting a bit long though, so if you like this, stick around for part two.